Claus too. It is Helen D. There's Jingle Bells next to me that I will try not to hit a thousand times. Um, welcome to my Floss Tube channel. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Um, what is today? September 24th. My son's birthday was yesterday. What's going on? School. I think, I think the last time I talked to you was the first week of school. I think this is the third week of school. They all run together. Um, they all run together. We're going hybrid. He goes two days a week. The other three days a week we're home doing remote, which is still not great. <laughs> um, it's better than last year because he has actual work this year, but it's hard to stay focused. So we're getting through. We're getting through. I have a lot of things to show you today. Um, I don't feel like I've been doing as much stitching lately. We had his birthday, we had a birthday party just with my mom and dad and my sister and her kids. Um, we went outside up at their house last weekend. My hands are really dry. We're in between seasons and this is when my hands get dry and then they kind of, I don't know, even out over the winter, but for right now, dry hand season. So the sti I use the Stitcher's lotion, um, which I do think helps, but there are some times when I'm like, mm, I don't really, it's hard to stitch, but I've been finishing. I think I had mentioned I'm trying to get a lot of my fall and Halloween finishes done. I have a ton of finishes to show you today. One, two, three, four, five, so like seven or eight <clears throat> things that are fully finished. So one problem I found, I pulled the Halloween stuff out yesterday. I had put fall up a couple weeks ago and I pulled the Halloween stuff out. I have nowhere left to put things. Is this a problem? Is this a problem people have? Um, I feel it this time of year because I have Halloween out here in the dining room where I have the built-in shelves. And then I can't put, I mean, sorry, I have fall in here. So then I can't put Halloween in here. It's already full. So I have Halloween in the living room, like up on the piano and some stuff hanging from the wall. I'm out of space. So we need to buy a bigger house. <laughs> we don't. That'd be too much more cleaning I'd have to do. I got lemonade today. Thinking the cats won't want to drink it. The window's open. It's nice today, so they're tooling around. We had a frost already. Um, I think we were just below freezing. I didn't notice it as much on the garden plants because they're right up by the house, but when we drove to school that morning, um, like on the field, you could see it, that it was frosty and you could see your breath. And then, the, you know, this week it's back to 76 and highs in the 50s overnight. So second, second summer, early fall, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let me show you what I have. I'm gonna start with a couple of gifts. I had to pull the laundry basket out <laughs> for transporting and that way I can put the smaller things in the bottom and we'll get to the bigger things. So I made my last video and then I believe that afternoon when I got the mail I had a big package, big fluffy package waiting. Um, it was from Pam who was Farm Boys Love. I'm, I'm sure if you're a floss tube maker you know that name because she watches a lot, she comments a ton. Pam's great, she's hilarious. She now has her own floss tube, which I didn't know until a little while ago, so I had to catch up on that. Uh, I'll link that below. So last year, she and I were both kind of stitching the Bent Creek Rose, and I said, well, these are the ones I have. I'll send them your way when I'm done, and then she said, I'll send some your way. Um, so she had been stacking them up, and sent them out <clears throat> with some tons of extra goodies because that's just how she rolls. So Gnomes in the Garden, which I love. This will be the first one I do. Oh, an adorable card. Where'd it go? The Mangoes. Shamrock Row. Romance. And then she threw in um, Flag of Stars. And she had this treats it's bountiful that one's really cute 
So she had all those, and if that wasn't enough, she also had, and I cracked up. So in the package was like this silver bubble wrap, like an envelope. And just in case she thought, I might just think it's padding, she had written on a scrap of paper, um, prize inside, open. <laughs> and she had packed um, a beeswax, which just looks like a little bee comb, which is great. Um, and she had it in there with like a freezer pack thing, so it wouldn't get all melty because she comes from a much warmer climate than me. And then she stitched for me. There's never a wrong time to say thank you. This was a freebie from Hands On Design. She put it out right after market, okay? This is adorable enough. Look what she did to the back. She like cut out the B scap and top stitched it on there, which is so cute. I don't know if that's where she like stuffed it, cause you know how some people cut the back and then stuff it, um, but it's adorable. Thank you, Pam. I had to pull that one off the wall because I found this little shelf <clears throat> on Facebook Marketplace and I painted it and I, we just put it up. So that was on my shelf. So I pulled it off. Then Misty and Barbie and I, and I will link their floss tubes down below as well. Um, last year we did a Halloween swap and we thought we, thought we were going to not do it this year because it's always busy this time of year, right? Misty's back at school teaching, Barbie's kids are back in school, mine's back in school. But a couple months ago, I was like, mm, anyone up for it? And we were. So Barbie said, how about we do Halloween or fall this year? Which was great because that kind of opened up what we could stitch. <clears throat> so I got my package from Barbie. We didn't have any date. We just, you know, it's fall or Halloween. Send it around that time. So she sent me a spool of ribbon and some little pins that I could turn into needle minders if I wanted. Um, a little pumpkin. The, the most adorable wooden buttons. And I put them in a jar, which is blue, so you can't really see it. But it was this whole like bag of all these gorgeous wooden buttons. So I will use those. And then the piece that she stitched me was actually not stitched, it was punch needle. And this is one of Barbie's brand new designs. And I wanna show you without tipping it out. I believe she called this pick your own pumpkin because she gave two different colorways. She gave this one with the orange and then another one that has, I think it's a white pumpkin. It's the same colors but it shows you how to punch it to give it a different look. Um, she, I know she found the little holders at Michael's and she just finished it up and popped it right in there and it's adorable. And I don't really know how to punch needles so that's great because I loved it, but I'm like, mm, I don't really punch needle and that'd be like one more thing. So thank you, Barbie. Um, I'll show you what I sent them too. Actually, I can show you now because we might as well move on to FFOs. So I sent them and they've both received it. I had finished Harvest, Heart and Hand, uh, Hands on Design, and I finished it as a little pillow. So I put the coordinating fabrics on the bottom. These are from that Moonshine line by Henry Glass. And I decided that the middle one, I would make the back so that I didn't have to worry about anything matching up or any of that. And I put a little bit of Rick Rack. <clears throat> I decided that I'm going to do all of these the same kind of finish. I had done snowy, the Christmas one, and Liberty. These are the smalls that came with the chock full jars, the jars with the flowers. Um, so when I get around to these, I will shoot a tutorial to show how I did that because it was very easy. So that's what I sent them in their goodie bag. Um, other FFOs. I had finished these a while ago and just hadn't put the trim on, so I finally got around to that. These were from Heart and Hands Elfin Around. It was a little chart, it had three little elves. So it has this one. 
This one, which is so crooked, it's not even funny, but whatever. <laughs> so there's this one. I put these Santas. And then this one came out my favorite. It was the tiniest, so I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. So I had to put some fabric and stuff around it to make him a little bigger. And then I had just enough that I just did that in the back. This is another one that this was a fabric line that I should have written down, <laughs> and I didn't. Um, I can put it down below because I can find it. And I actually, this one, I didn't buy fat quarters. I bought the five inch charm pack. And then I just kind of cut them into what I needed um, for ornaments. So I did put the little year on the back. For these, I put a snowflake on the top. So those are ready for the tree. Um, last time I showed you, I had finished the Hello Fall cup from Priscilla and Chelsea. There's the neighbor's dog again. <laughs> So this one is done. I had another one of those um, metal drawers from Hobby Lobby. This one was from the spring shop a couple years ago, but it's the same size as their regular ones. It's just a little roughly on the edge. So he's magneted in there and ready to go. Filling up my basket. All right, I'm doing these in order of size. We started small and we're getting bigger. <laughs> That's why I've run out of room. So this week, I pulled out all my reindeer stacks. I said, all right, let's get these done. And I did, I got all four done. So I had found this stand last year at Joann's and I got them on clearance. One side said, this one says Merry Christmas. They said different things. So I stitched those reindeers knowing they would fit in there. They had a little snowflake on the top. This turns. So they were just a smidge shorter than they were, like there's gonna be more of the backing fabric showing. So I just, my leftover trim, I just made a little bow, glued it on there. Um, so I did four of these, so those are ready. This one's mine. Hey Donna, one of these is yours. Um, I made one for me, one for my sister, one for my mom, and then one for my friend from college. And I wanted to get them done because my parents were going back to Florida soon and I wanted to get that to them so I didn't have to mail it. So next time I see them, I'll have that done. The one I thought last video, I remember saying, oh, I have this finish and then I had forgotten to show you. <clears throat> I've posted it on, on Instagram since, was Squirreling Around by Luminous Fiber Arts. So here's that one. So I had found this washboard thing at the salvage store in town last year. The flowers are already on there. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. I did tuck some blue ones in just because there's so much blue in the chart. I just stuck them in there with a pipe cleaner because I'm classy. Um, so that one is done and hangs on the back of my door and I love it. And it was the perfect size. I've had this and I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do with that? That fit perfectly. Two more to go, I told you I had a lot. <clears throat> All right, I just posted this one on Instagram yesterday. This is Witch Shoes by uh, Marissa M. Kissa creates. I'll put her below to her Etsy store. And I had found these shoes at Target and I knew they were going to be perfect. So there is my witch shoes. So the chart says witch shoes, witch shoes. And I use the DMC Etoile for the little socks and the shoes. So these shoes come this weathered look. The problem is they're both facing the same way. And I wanted mine opposite. So I had to paint both of them because one of them was the wood and then the other one was weathered and it just didn't work. So I had to paint them both. So they're more of a matte black, not like the weathery look, which I liked, um, but they match. These were hard to get to stick together because they're that 
MDF or whatever it is. The E6000 wasn't working. The hot glue wasn't working. Um, I used Velcro. The Velcro strips, the adhesive on them stuck to the wood. So I Velcroed this on for like stabilization. And then I have four pieces of Velcro, one in each corner, and that's kind of stable enough that it holds them together. So my witch shoes are done. <clears throat> and finally, <laughs> beginning of this year when I wanted to try and finish up some whips before everything happened and then I couldn't focus on anything. I finished Scary Apothecary by Hands On Design. I chose to do five. There's eight. The reason I chose to do five is because I had found this sign last year at Joann's, so I knew the measurements of it and I knew I wanted to hang them from it. This is gonna be kind of hard to show, so I will post a picture <laughs> also hard to show, um, on my Instagram, which is eastcoast.crafter. So, see if I can get it. So, it's big. The welcome sign, and then each of the five, oh, they're actually gonna turn the right way, except this one, except these two. I used her template to make the little ornaments. And then last year in our swap, um, Misty had sent me these little bells. So I had black and purple. I have some orange too, but on mine I used black and purple. So that one ugh, is finished. And it's hanging up. And I'm so glad it's done. I really like the way it came out. Um, they weren't terribly hard to do on the template. It was the right size. It was kind of a step-by-step -step because I kind of got them on there and I glued them together. I put a back on them, not that you really need it. You're not going to see it. Um, there was some gaps in between. So then I hand sewed around them to kind of tighten them up. Then I put the cording on. <laughs> so it was just a multi-step process. Um, but they're done and they look really nice. I also did Donna's. I've been trying to get some of her fall stuff done too and she did seven of them. But she didn't want them on a sign or anything, she just wanted them as a banner, so they're done. I have a couple more fall things and Halloween things. We'll see what gets finished up this year. And if I do get it finished up this year, I don't know where I'm gonna put it because I'm officially out of space. <laughs> so that is all the FFOs. And that will be the majority of this video because that's what I have the most of. Um, I pulled down my whips. I have one finish and then the two things I've been working on. So the one finish was also a new start. Heart and hand, here's the skinny on Halloween. I, I loved this chart, I bought it. I think two years ago and I wanted to start it last year and I didn't get to it. And I just felt like it so I pulled it out. I just, it's still in the cue snap because I need to put the buttons on. But they didn't fit with my regular needle when I went to do it the other day so I need to do it in the craft room so I have my small needle. So it's done. Chills and thrills, hoots and newts, a scary scene, Halloween. Um, and like he has a button in his eyeball and there's a few little buttons. This is really skinny. <laughs> I think it's like two inches, um, but it stitched up really quick. I worked on this one when I went to pick up at school. I know I talked to you guys about, oh, I need a pickup line project. Turns out, I just talk to people at pick up. Um, you know, we're all just parked. We put our windows down. My neighbor picks up. Some other friends from school pick up the same day. And it's so nice to be able to just talk to people I haven't seen. So I haven't gotten a ton of stitching done in the pickup line. I've just been yapping. But that one's done. I also worked on some more um, Misty's little cat ornament from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. So the cat is done. This one is on Picture This Plus. Jade, 16 count. So I'm working on the border. And then there's a star and a moon. And that one will be done. 
My son wanted me to do that one, so I don't know where he wants to put it. <laughs> it can be his problem. And then the other piece I worked on this week when I did stitch, or the last, I think it's been three weeks since I did a video, um, <clears throat> part three of Midnight Way by the, the Frosted Pumpkin. This is Ghost Riders, which is adorable. This one took me, it's taken forever. There's a thousand mistakes in it. Um, I did like the outline over here in this door, but I hadn't filled anything in. And then when I went to fill it in, I realized it was one stitch too small. And I was not ripping all that out. So now this one, this whole window, I just made it a stitch bigger because I needed it to line up <laughs> under the sign. Um, it's fine, it's fine. That's on Picture This Plus Whimsy 14 count, which was like the one they suggested. So that's part three. I think the last part comes out next week. I'll be done that. I'll be done that tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Um, I haven't touched Chinese Zodiac, which also came out, and that was a big one this month. So I have some work to do on that. That's what I've been working on. Teeny, 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 tiny bit of haul. Three charts. Um, I was waiting for Penny to get these at the Daily Stitcher. She's on auto ship with Kathy of Hands-On Design. So when they came in, the last two Secret Santas. Um, I gotta get back to these. These finish with the same template that the Halloween ones did. I'm a pro at that by now. <laughs> And then I picked up one of the flamingos. This one was my favorite. Um, I'd like to stitch that for my parents. Not before they leave. <laughs> that one will have to get mailed because I won't be done. So those, that's my haul. I'm trying to think, is that really on my haul? Oh, you know it's not and I didn't grab it. I did get the last Ink Circles Elemental Dragon came out. It was fire. So now I have all four of those. I've stitched the first one, so I need to get back to those. Um, before I get into giveaways, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I needed to tell you or wanted to tell you. And I can't think of it. Plans, I'm going to finish that Frosted Pumpkin, work on Chinese Zodiac, finish up the Halloween, and then kind of figure out what I want to do for the rest of the year. I mean, it's already almost October. I have some Christmas ones started I'd like to finish. I had some turkeys I was hoping to get to this year. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And then given my lack of space, I really need to think about next year and what I want to work on. If I want to try and do bigger pieces that take me longer. Like I love finishing things. You know, I enjoy that part of it. Where am I gonna put everything? All right, before I do my giveaways, I know I had mentioned in the last video that I was taking part in Cynthia Brew, Stitching in the Lights, um, hashtag the Great Pumpkin Sale, which is like a fundraising sale she's doing for the month of October, um, raising money for the Freedom Shield Foundation. So quite a few floss tubers and some Instagram folks um, have donated a prize. And then she's doing like a raffle where if you make a donation, she has a whole video about it. I'll put it down below. Um, if you make a donation and you send her a snapshot of the receipt, she puts you in the drawing. So my stuff finally all came together. Um, so this is Autumn Skies, which I still, I stitched this once for Frugal Empire, the Frugal Empire Retreat. And I have to still stitch it for me. So this is a different, a different copy. Making sure the chart wasn't there. I kitted it up. It's all the DMC. I popped a little needle minder, needle minder in there, and it comes with the felty stuff. So this is not something I'm giving away here on my channel, but this is for the Great Pumpkin Sal. I just want to show you guys that that is what I am sending out. So the link will be below for any more information on that. The goal is to stitch on pumpkin things in October or work craft pumpkin things. I might still be finishing <laughs> pumpkin things. Um, so, and I think she's gotten a pretty good response. I know, I 
thought she said she was already halfway to her goal, which is fantastic. All right, let me move these out from under the bells. So last video I mentioned, I hit 5,000 subscribers. So I picked myself up off the floor and thought, what can I do? I'd love to do something for everyone. I'm not a designer. I can't design something that anyone would want to stitch. So I ended up going the old fashioned route and I gathered up some things, um, made some orders, put some things together um, to do giveaways. Normally when I do giveaways, I just have you tell me which one you're interested in and I keep an Excel sheet. Um, and as I go through the comments, I put them in the Excel sheet and I just do the random number generator and do it that way. I have six things and that's gonna, it sounds like too much work. <laughs> so for this one, we're going to try having you put the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll find a random comment generator where I can search that number and it will come up. So that's how I'm doing it this time. All but the last one are open to anyone. I'm, that I can ship them anywhere. The last one I'll explain when we get there. So, if you're interested, please be a subscriber. Don't say giveaway. Be over 18 so you can legally give me your address. If there's one you're interested in, just write the number. One, two, three, four, six, whatever. All of them, go for it. Um, I am gonna do that you can only win one thing, so if your name comes up for one thing and then came up for the next thing, you'd win the first one. So, the first three um, were donated by my friend Penny, who runs thedailystitcher.com, so you can go over to her website. Also, she's now selling punch needle stuff. I don't think I had mentioned that. Because I did think if I had tried that one of Barbie's, she has like the weaver's cloth, and she even has the punches, um, so she has that stuff if you're interested. So, number one, Calvin and Clyde, Stitching by the Housewives. I do love this one. <laughs> of all of them she gave me, that's my favorite. Uh, number two, the September Trucking Along. And number three, the October Trucking Along. I will draw all of these in my next video, which will be approximately two to three weeks. So if you're watching this and I already have another video out, I've already drawn the winners. Um, number four, you guys loved that little truck that we got from Carla at Cobweb Corner so much that I ordered another one from Carla. This is Trick or Treat Truck. Okay. The cat got it. The chart is perfectly fine. She's a plastic eater. So I was gonna pull it out and put it in another bag, but the cat got it. <laughs> With love from Emmy. And I have a little witch needle miner. These needle miners are from um, Lydia Jean Art. She does like pins and she does magnets, but they're usually like the big black magnets. But if you message her and you say, could I just have some of the flat back? Then you can glue your own magnet on. That's what I do. So they're kind of concaved a little bit, and I just glue my own magnet on. I'll put a link to her shop too. So that is number four. I got off track. Number five, Carla had gotten more of these in stock, the year in chalk, October. And I also grabbed, because I did mine in black and orange, a 310. And this is the orange I used, which is Colonial Copper. If you don't want to do it with those, you've got some bonus fall floss. That was number five. Number six. So number six is the one that will be US only. Um, number six, I will finish this mall for you. I say US only because I don't entirely trust the postal service. If I mailed one of these out to you and it got lost, it could easily be replaced. If I mailed, if you mailed me your small and it got lost, or I mailed it back to you and it got lost, I would feel terrible. So let's do US only. It's a little more cross your fingers reliable. So number six, I will finish the small for you, probably like a pillow finish or something that's easily mailable. Um, whoever wins, we'll, we'll chat over email. If I've done a finish that you like, chances are I still have some of the same fabric um, or we can, we'll figure it out. So that's number six. <laughs> um, 
Like I said, I'll draw those in the next video. It will be confusing because I don't usually have this many. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and pushed that number up over 5,000, which is unbelievable to me. Um, I hope everyone's having a good start of fall now that it is officially fall. Um, school years are going well. They're challenging, but it's going as well as possible. Um, I don't even know what's happening about Halloween yet. We won't even go there. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.